Are you ready? Amen. You can come. You are believing God. Come. Let me touch you here for healing. I'm touching you for healing. And uh, I know you are healed now. In the name of Jesus, you are healed, sister. Let me see how you walk. You're working like this. See, she's healed. She can hear it. The pain is gone from the leg. So, how, how, how far was your leg, your right leg? Ah, look what she's doing now. Can you see the right leg there? And uh, I didn't know why I'm praying for her. I just say, this leg is healed. She's healed. The leg is healed. And do you feel pain? Not at all. Eh? Not Let's anymore. walk. Go there. Go there, sister. Go there, please. <laughs> Who came with her? No one. She came. She was failing to walk. Yes, she told me she fell. She fell down. Yes. She failed to walk. Yes. Also, you come. But you, for marriage, I'm praying for marriage. I'm praying for Mary. You will marry. Greetings in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Charis TV. We are here at Charis Missionary Church where the man of God, Apostle J.B. Makanisa, is going amongst the congregation and praying for deliverance, healing, and breakthrough. And I'm with our sister who just got her instant healing today and she'll be telling us what was happening with her. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? Okay, I'm Chinese uh, Sibula, original. Right now, uh, original, I'm from Limpopo, but right now I'm in Pomola, next to Fosloras. Is this your first time to come here, Charis? Um, today is my third time. Third time, yes. The man of God, when he came to you, he said, you are believing so much. Can you tell us what was happening with you? Yo, this right leg of mine was so painful. Actually, what happened was on Monday, I fell in the hole the way I'm staying. Then, like, yeah, then it started being so solid, and then it was so painful. So, yes, even today during the day, like, when the pa pa pastor was preaching, my leg was so painful, whereby I even take a painkiller to drink it while in the church. Then it's like, it's hidden as I'm wearing my trousers. So, to my surprise, so men of God called me and said to me, you believe in God for your miracle to be healed and exactly to, do, to my right leg. So to me, it was a shock and surprise because of I'm wearing a trousers because of, I don't want people to look at this the way I'm like the way I'm head. Yeah. So I, I I don't know. I'm speechless. I didn't believe that one day God will do something to me. Something like that. I don't know what to say, man. I'm so happy. And God. And when the men of God uh, located you about the problem that you know you are having, and then he prayed for you, how were you feeling? I feel like very weak, like unable to balance myself. I feel very weak, yes. And when, so then he said to me, can you walk? That's where he said, okay, your right hand was painful. Can you walk now? Then like when I walk, my, I couldn't feel that pain anymore. And we saw that you also got emotional when you realized that the pain in your leg has left you. What was going on? Actually, the emotional, yes, because I'm surprised. Because of, as, I'm, as I'm saying to you, I'm wearing a trouser. I don't go to church wearing a trouser. I don't like that, eh? But I'm wearing a trouser because of I'm hiding this wound that I have on my right leg. So I'm surprised. He mentioned that problem that I have on my right leg while the, my leg is hidden. So I, oh, thank you, God. I don't know what to say much. I thank God with this man of God. And as today you got your instant healing, God healed you today from the pains that you were suffering from on your right leg. What other words of encouragement would you like to give to other people that are facing different kinds of challenges, different kinds of pains, wounds, uh, sicknesses, diseases? What is it that you would like to say to them as God has done a new thing in your life today? Yo, I will tell them that not, not, to start, not to doubt God at all. There is God at CMC. There is God at Charis Missionary Church. Honestly, I just came here because of my friend used to invite me here. I'm not like a member of the church. Just came because of my friend invite me to come here. So I will, I will tell people to come and trust God. There is miracle here at Missionary Church. There is. 
We thank you for joining us. I believe indeed God has done it for you today. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you. Thank you. So when I pray for you, I will tell you I'm praying for this. So you know deep down what I'm praying for is what you are here for. So uh, I'll pray for them. Where is your husband? He's sitting right there. Huh? He is here, over here. I can't hear. Here he is. So he, he married you? Are you married? Yes. yes. When? 2012. 2012. But there's no baby? Mm -mm. Yeah. Eh? Yeah. No. There's no baby? Eh? No. Yes. So I'm praying for baby. Thank you. Touch the stone. My brother, even the way you are doing, you are telling me that baby is coming. <laughs> Leave him. You can see what he's doing. <laughs> baby is coming. So you are, you are going to her. Leave, leave, leave. Look, watch there. So, but the baby is coming. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? My name is Gottfried Ruri from Rabirish Extension 2. This is my wife, Caroline Ruri. We are all from Rabirish Extension 2. Mama, uh, the man of God located you today. Can you tell us what is it that he said to you when he called you out? Um, he mentioned the problem of, uh, of the baby, that we, we need a baby. And which is the which is real? We we since we got married until today, we don't have a child. That is one um, challenge that we're having. So that is what the man of God mentioned as well. And have you gone to the hospital before to find out what was wrong? Yeah, the last time when I went to the doctor, the doctor mentioned that I won't have a child because I'm having fibroids, multiple fibroids. So that is what the doctor told me. And according to the doctor, there was no hope at all for me to, to can have a child in this age. And how was this affecting you? Um, you know what? If you are married, it, the, other, the next thing that you're looking for besides everything, you are looking forward to having a child. So if you get married and then they tell you a challenge like this, then at the end of the day, you, you just have many questions. You ask God, you get... You, you don't even know what to say. But at the end of the day, I was just looking up unto God to say, what is humanly impossible? You can do it to be possible for us as well. Papa, can you tell us the challenges you were coming across when you knew that your wife was told that she has fibroids and it's going to be impossible for you to have children with her? How was that for you? It's, it's very painful because at my age, uh, when you're around people, when they ask you the question, how many kids do we have? And when we have to answer that question, it's so hard. Sometimes it's even lie, and which is something that as a Christian, you're have, you have not supposed to lie. And so very painful, yeah. Stressing and all these things. And sometimes, like, the people like that you grow up with, and some are younger than you, and having kids, having babies, and you don't have a child of your own, it's very frustrating. And for how long have you been married? 12 years. I, I, I'm sorry, not, not 12 years. We've married for 12 years, which is six years now. Yeah, we, we didn't have a child. And when the man of God located you and spoke about the problem, the challenge that you know you are facing, that is bringing even shame into your lives, how did you feel? Uh, when the man of God like, uh, uh, located us, I think it's the solution, which means our problem is past. Now something has happened, so we really believe in the man of God, we believe in the anointing of Sharis, so we, we know that we'll come back with a testimony. Yeah, yeah. And when he prayed for you, Mama, can you tell us what happened to you and your husband when you were prayed for? Um, you know what, I, I just felt that something is happening. When I, um, I saw my husband, um, I, I, I really felt in my heart that God has answered our prayers today. And even in my spirit, I could, I could confirm that God is really doing it for us. Yes. 
and there are many people out there that are also seeking for the fruits of the womb like you guys were and today God has honored you what are the words of encouragement would you like to give to those that are watching uh, just be patient believe in God have faith in God and more like the message of today actually was speaking to us the, it was actually the message narrated everything that sometimes the, what Christ goes through as Christian, we have to go through. Only we need is just obedient. Yeah, be obedient in the midst of trials and tribulation and worship God in the midst of trials and tribulation and know that God's time is the best time. Yes, um, what, I, what I would like to encourage everybody is that never lose hope. Do not give up on God because God will never give up on you. And one day, God is going to make it happen for your life as well. Yes. We thank you for joining us. I believe indeed you'll be surely coming back to testify the goodness of the Lord upon your lives in Jesus' name. Amen. Tonight is tonight. <laughs> Amen. Thank you so much. Where is your wife? It's your wife? Yeah, it's my wife. Huh? Hey, hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop what her. are you doing? Huh? Eh? Eh? I need pity. Huh? I need pity. I need it's your wife. all the yeah. time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Ni so go takari ne. Tu vale wana lemu. Ati takere keni no shik. Hey, di mi ngai ni mar. Eh? So she need deliverance. Takari ne. Pani takari ne. Rone tanga inui. Hi. This is too eh? much. This is too much. Too much. Ah, yeah. too much. What is too much? Eh? Much, 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 Eh? <laughs> 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 By praying for you, that demon will leave your wife. You are free. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Susan Murovis. I come from, uh, I, live, I stay here in Tembisa, but uh, I come from Venda. I'm from Tembisa. Lady Nkumeren. Can you tell us what is it that the man of God said to you today? Yeah, the man of God came to me today and told me that uh, I stand up and then when I stand up and uh, he told me that uh, uh, everything is fine and then uh, the demon that is tormenting my wife when he's praying for me to go today and I find it to be true and I believe that the demon will go today to never come back. Can you tell us what was happening to you since he's saying that you were being tormented by a demon? Oh, no. I've been a demon for a long time. I guess I've been a demon. I've been a totally miracle. 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 Uh, service in Weber, it's a week of shifting. Nakatomo, Toladi Kolo, Uzo Namo. Then Gatola Mereko. After that, Gitla Moke, Regeni, Gitla Moke, Regeni, Gitagana. Most of the time, Gimakala Giko Pili. Then Maragisa Zibur, what's happened? Yeah. And then. Okay. Uh, it's the many things I, I, I get to work. He explain everything now, cause yeah. After the catalyst, that's long we can reckon. We can only mona. Cause last year, we only could Friday. Happy, happy. We only demon later. Nang kasinyale. Then Mara, cause December mona. Cause I'm my up. I'm damage. Yeah. 
Okay, uh, uh, what the man of God said about me, it's very true. Because when I started coming to Charis Missionary Church, I was not uh, getting any work. And then there was a day when the man of God announced that there's going to be a night of shifting. And I attended that night of shifting. And from there, I started to get calls. And eventually, I got a job. But always when I come to the service, I will just find myself in the front when it's uh, the time of mass prayer. And I would not know what happened and or how I got there. And then last year... Um, the, uh, the demon in me manifested that I cannot get married, but after the deliverance, my husband on December, he came and paid dowry for me, so I would like to thank God for that. And Baba, can you tell us the challenges that you and your wife, uh, you were facing? Yeah, we were facing a lot of challenges in the house. Like, uh, we, we used to fight, like... We fight always, like if for even for everything, like even for remote, yeah, just the remote control. We can fight like it's something big, and then we even even that that small fight can continue in such a way that we 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 get that fight to be more, yeah, you know, yeah. So I find it to be true, and then yeah, I, I, I experience lots of things, but I find that just because the men of God have prayed for us today, I find it to be out of okay, and everything will move smoothly for our life, and I, I know that it a, it was a, a breakthrough to our life from now on. And how are you feeling after your deliverance? I feel like the right, the light, but before give a yeah. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Yeah, a uh, word of encouragement from me is that uh, I pray a lot and then be strong and then uh, trust in God. Everything will happen. And then, yeah, God is, uh, is able and the God of charis is able. If everything is not moving, come to charis with all your heart. Everything will be okay. thinking about being used by God. So God can even use you in business. You are blessed. Then, then rushing to be used by God. Are you hearing me? We must not rush to be used by God. God can also use you in business. Because you always think how to make money. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. And then I'm, I'm praying for that because... Now, if you think about making money, when you see money is not coming, you'll be a pastor now to make money. So God loves you, you'll make it Amen. in business. Sir, so can you tell us your name and where you come from? Oh, my name is Isaac Mukudu. I'm coming from Oliver Lord Bosch. And can you tell us what happened to you today when the men of God uh, located you? I shall feel so much power coming upon my life. So I just. Uh, imagine uh, facing myself down. So, good. And did the man of God said anything to you? Yes. What is it that he said to you? Man of God, uh, God is going to use me for business because I've got that uh, business mind. How can I make man? But he also said that God wants to use me uh, for his purpose. And for how long have you been having an idea of wanting to do a business? Since I was young, I gave that idea of a businessman, but I was young. And now, since God has revealed his mind about you, how are you feeling? I'm feeling blessed, my sister. I know Hore Mudimo, whenever he said something, he is faithful, he will do it. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Gary, if people out there, if you want, or if you go something that God has laid in your life or in your heart, can also come to Charis and visit Charis, and the man of God will locate you. Amen. I was pray for you. You must be careful of spirit of lust. Eh? Okay. Amen. You understand? Yes. Yeah, to destroy your future because you have got a great future. Amen. So you, you must be careful. You love God so much. 
Amen. But Satan is bringing wrong people around you. True. Huh? Yeah. Uh, too much ladies around you who want to be close to you. That's so, very true. Yeah. Uh, so you must cut them because of where God, God is taking you. Amen. So, I want to finish in the So, I want to come back home. You will marry one day. You will marry. God will give you a red card. This side and that side. The spirit of the family. This is the spirit of the family. Hey! 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 This is a family. This spirit, come on! Huh? What are you doing? Huh? Why are you confusing a lie? Huh? Why they are alive? Why are you confusing their lives? Huh? I can't hear. Never. Say what? Never. Never what? Never. Your yeah, family. Why another one sit here? Another one sit here. Another one sit, here, another one sit there. Never what? Never. Huh? Never be rich. You'll never be rich. Yes, sister. I cut your hair. All of you, I cut your hair. In Jesus' name. You are defeated. It's over. Leave it. Leave them. In Jesus' name. You are going. In Jesus' mighty name. Put it down. For me, let's see. Huh? You are not going. I cut your head. In Jesus' name. together. This one is an inspector. This one is a teacher. The inspector is inspecting if all things are coming out. And if she vomits all, this one will fall down. Meet everything. I'm Jesus. Free now, you have vomited everything. Rise up. Rise up, you are free. So that one is also delivered. You know each other. She's my sister. Huh? She's my sister. So think about now you, you know, they, these demons are very strong. If you saw it, think about you, you visited the family and you have got Holy Spirit and you don't know how to cast demons. They begin to manifest like this. You will just run away. 
you will just be shocked. You can end up thinking they are witch, whereas they are witches sitting that way, attacking them. Sometimes witch, they hide somewhere, attacking the people of God. And yourself, when you look at them like this, you will think, oh, you will just run away from them. I want to tell you, those who are witching you, they are falling down now. Yeah. I said they are falling down. You are doing business. Yes, I'm trying to You will to make start. it this year. Thank you. You really make it. Thank you. You are going to make it this year. You, you even surprise, you will shock everybody Amen. of your family. Even those who will try to attack you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Greetings in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching Charis TV. Can you tell us your name and where you come from and also introduce the person next to you? Okay. <clears throat> My name is Mildred Mukhabudi and I live around East Rand, Londale Gardens. And the person next to me is my sister, Mpilo Mukhabudi. She stays in, in Centurion. And can you tell us what is it that the man of God said to you today? Okay, the man of God. Okay, firstly, my sister started manifesting, and then I also started manifesting. The man of God said that it's a um, um, family curse, generational curse. Yeah, that's what. Can you tell us what has been happening in your family? Well, there's been a lot of separation in our family, and also there's been like poverty in our family. Like there is no. Like, we're not together, and also we don't have money, and everybody is, like, everywhere, like, spread everywhere. Also, they, they like, they, they sort of, like, oh, we're all going through poverty, and, like, it wasn't, it didn't make sense to us. And how was this affecting you? Well, it's been affecting me a lot, because I always want to put my family together and I want us to come together and do businesses and stuff like that. Yeah, so it's been affecting me a lot. And can you tell us, were you expecting that God was going to locate your situation, your family situation today? Okay, I wasn't expecting at all. So I thank God that he is, he's, he's appointed us. And it's not the first time. We came on one-on-one -on -one four, weeks, four weeks ago, and the same thing happened. So I just thank God for the man of God. I thank God for Cherise. Yes, Cherise is working wonders into our lives. So I thank God for that. And what is it that you believe that through this deliverance that you have received, not only for yourself, but for the whole entire family that God has begun to do from today? I believe that... Um, a lot is going to change from today. Um, our family, no more poverty. Our family is going to get together and we're going to we're going to combine. As she said, that our family is all scattered. So from now on, I believe that our family will come together and will help each other. Hence, Daddy said that um, she's. Uh, doing business and it's going to grow. She's going to do wonders. So we're going to be helping her with her step by step, so, yeah. And how are you feeling about this deliverance? Well, I feel positive about it. I mean, I feel like I have the confidence now to approach my family about businesses and everything, yeah. Any words of encouragement to the viewers? Okay, words of encouragement is that charity is the way, the man of God, actually God has appointed the man of God to help each and every person out there. So I'd encourage you to come to charity and also get your, your blessings as we also got our blessing today. So charity, number one. Amen. He's surprised because he knows he has never fallen down. So he, he, I'm telling you, you, you know him? Yes. So he's surprised because he knows he has never fallen down. Yes. Eh? You he, know that? Yes. Eh? So that's why he's surprised. Uh, God is healing him. Sometimes Amen. he feels his heart pumping in a different way. 
Amen. Uh, God is healing this man. Thy blood must leave him. Let's see what he's doing. Because he has never fall down, so for him to fall like this, he knows God is here. He's mine. So sometimes God will give you what you want, you see. You can see that. So that you understand God is there. Rise up, sir. He's very much surprised. You are very much surprised. Eh? Yeah, very eh? surprised. Eh? Very I didn't surprised. expect that one. Eh? I didn't expect that one. He didn't expect that one. Yeah. He's, he was having his own expectation. But not this one of falling down. Because he knows he has been in many places. For him to fall down like this, yeah, he doesn't believe in that. And your mm -hmm. heart here gives you problem. Yes. Huh? Yes. There is a pain. Usually there was a pain and stuff. Yes, this is the reason why you are falling down. Because your health is more important than money. Yes, Pastor. You understand? Yes. So God has healed you today. Thank you, Pastor. So don't be surprised. Can you tell us your name and where you come from? My name is Alex Zengea. I'm from Johannesburg. Can you tell us what is it that the man of God said to you today? Well, the man of God told me about my heart problem. Uh, I think this... For the past year or so, I've been having problems with my heart, like sharp pains all of a sudden. Uh, it was extending even to my arm, so I thought maybe it was stress or something like that. Uh, but today I was surprised that he picked it up and uh, actually said I had a heart problem and that I'm healed of it. And how was it affecting you? When you, the, you start feeling the pain, how would you be affected? How would you be affected when you start feeling the pain in your heart? Okay, when, I, when the pain came up, uh, I couldn't do most of my daily activities. Um, I couldn't even exercise or go to the gym or even manual labor because I'm a contractor. So I need, I need to use my hands and I need to lift stuff. So I felt like, you know, it, it was really affecting my business. I see you. And then, were you using anything for the pain? No, I haven't been using anything. Um, I, I guess I was just, it was, it would come on and off. Um, but uh, I'm glad at least I came, I came to the apostle and they identified it and he told me I'm healed and I know I'm healed. And now since he has prayed for you, how are you feeling? Uh, there's some sort of relief. Um, even my leg, I had a problem with the leg also. So it's like the, there's some relief, the pain has suddenly disappeared for now. And what are the words of encouragement would you like to give to viewers that are watching? Well, I would say um, I'm always telling my friend, I think there's, uh, in this church there's anointing that I haven't seen elsewhere. And uh, we've got a true man of God, a humble man of God. Uh, that's why not even now and then I come here. Uh, leaving my church because I feel now and again I should come here when I've got problems. Amen. Hello viewers, this is Prophet Victor Ducha. I'm with my wife here from Charis, London. Keep watching Charis TV. Viewers all over the world, this is Prophet Andres. I'm with my wife. Hi, viewers all over the world. This is Prophetess Janice. Keep watching Charis, Charis TV. TV. Stay blessed.